From being a novice to becoming the destroyer. 22 years over 400 fights. I've now become a champion in their eyes. I keep moving forward. Because the farther I go, the closer I get to myself. Maybe what this era needs is heroes, legends, and greatness. But what I need, what I only need, is my inner voice. A voice that has always guided me from my past to my future. I am a fighter. Right now, um, I don't have plan yet. We're looking to try and lure Marquez out for a fifth fight here in the Philippines. There's a big uh, possibility to make that fight happen if uh, he will return in boxing. We don't have uh, confirmation from his side uh, of uh, his comeback of the boxing. Would you ever fight Marquez again? Uh, that's a good question. Um, uh, trying that um, to to have a rematch with him since the uh, last two, three years, two years. Pacquiao te mencionó como un posible rival. Dice que no ha perdido la la esperanza de que pudiera llegar esa revancha para él. Bueno, agradecerle que todavía me esté contemplando, pero es pues una pelea, una quinta plano tiene caso. Si yo lo hubiese ganado como él me ganó, como él me ganó. No era mi intención pelear contra otro boxeador mexicano, pero así pasan las cosas. He retired once before, he'll come back. <laughs> if he's had any balls. Five years of that combat, Juan Manuel, no hubo después la oportunidad de otra vez enfrentarte a Manny Pacquiao. Por quinta. Hubo un ofrecimiento por una por una quinta pelea. No estuvo mucho. Era una cantidad que... Una locura. Sí, sí, 100 millones de dólares. ¡Uy! ¡Órale, órale! ¿Pero por qué no estuvo cerca? Entonces, no estuvo cerca. ¿Por qué? Porque yo les dije, ya no, ya no más. ¿Por qué? Porque en los robos que me habían hecho, 100 millones sobre la mesa, ¿eh? Para ir a pelear con Paquión las en Filipinas y les dije, oye, es mucho dinero, es mucho dinero, pero yo creo que sabe más el honor, la gloria y lo que hicimos en ese 2012 que esa cantidad que estaban poniendo sobre la mesa. ¿Y, y cuánto era para ti, Juan Si se puede saber. Eso, un mal golpe. Sí, sí, no sabemos sí, qué sí, puede pasar. Pues y si te termina ganando, ganando mucha <risa> gente hubiera dicho, ¿ya ven cómo si fue un golpe de suerte? Eh, vienen Ajá. muchas controversias. Sí, Entonces, sí, sí. Yo, yo, um, I don't think uh, he will fight again. Amir Khan, are you willing to fight him or Ola, no? Ola, un problema. I'm looking at uh, Dubai for November. All right. Okay. Also with Tom Ryan. I'm looking at Dubai. <laughs> There's a lot of talk about Dubai, there's a lot of talk about UK, there's a lot of talk about America. I would like to see that fight more than any fight. Uh, we're looking at a few opponents. One of them could be Manny Pacquiao. I don't think they're going to make a Floyd Mayweather payday, but good luck to both competitors. What do you think? It, it just shocked me, man. I never, I, I never thought him and me and Connie would have collided. 
And I don't know who wins that fight at, at this point because you're talking about two exceptionally fast guys. Manny Pacquiao against Amir Khan. I think uh, he's still difficult. You know Take what I would Marco love to see on a big stage? Park. Pacquiao and Amir Khan. That would be an end of the and, they, and they work together too under uh, yeah, Freddie Brooks. Yeah, they work together. And they were together. <laughs> is going to be going down every time. Si como He saw him when they trained together. Uh, Manny dropped him several times. In, in every, every single time, you know, it was firework. And I'd love to see that on the big stage, man. I think it benefit both of them. Very beautiful fight. I'd love to see that. Well, from my point of view, I like Manny back then. Well, it's I, a different type of speed. Amir's speed is pure speed, and he's blazing fast. He's, he's a very, uh, energetic fighter and he knows how to stay engaged even though he's not punching he knows how to keep you on edge uh, and, and keep you aware and if you're not aware for a split second there uh, or not ready for it he's gonna he's gonna catch you with a shot you don't want it's a different kind of punch Manny's power is very surprising he cuts good angles you think you're safe and you're not and is able to generate power from those, those positions but what I know about Manny is he's blazing fast but he's extremely quick and Manny puts that power behind it too. And the power. Me and Manny Pacquiao have agreed to fight each other, and the fight's gonna be April 23rd. So the fight's gonna be for the WBO title, and it's gonna be a fight I know I can win. What do I need to prove? The Pacquiao fight come to me about 10 times, and it's been on the table, and then Michael Conzo, I don't know if you remember, he tweeted that the fight's gonna happen, and then there was Contracts going back and forth, but guess what? I don't think Manny Pacquiao wants to fight me. I'm a very bad style for him. Uh, we lost Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan, which everyone was so excited about. It was great on paper, though. It looked good because I would love that fight, uh, him and Amir Khan. I think a lot of people would like to see that fight. Freddie Roach was interviewed and he said if you and Manny fought that it would be an easy win for Manny. What? Oh. Do you take offense to that? Yeah. What do you think? Let's, put the, let's get that work, man. <laughs> so at the end of the day, man, we want that Pac-Man fight, man. I would love to negotiate that fight. Um, shoot, he can pick the date, he can pick anything he wants, man, because I'm ready to put hands on him and show the world who keep uh, one-time Thurman truly is, man. Bullshit. Make 135 if you had to for a fight against a guy like Lomachenko? Yeah, I can still make a 135. I think it's a great fight for Manny and everybody. In the, in the, it's actually fight. It's a good fight, yeah. He said 135 only. Oh, no, yes. I know, yeah. but uh, I said 140 only. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, you can fight with Manny Pacquiao. Yes, I want to fight Manny Pacquiao with Manny Pacquiao, but. You know, it's, uh, it's oh, stupid. I think it's stupid. Yeah. If you follow Pacquiao, like that's a dumb one. It wasn't the time for the fight. What did you say? <laughs> and we'll go into that fight for no problem. What, what weight would you fight at? Uh, but that way, I'm sure we're going to have to fight at 40. And he walks around at 38, so that's not a problem. I think he, he needs uh, need to finish his career. He's a legend. He is a. Uh, he need to finish, he need to rest. I feel very good, very well at 130 pounds, but because I wanted to make a history, so I moved up in a one weight class and I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling at the 135. And right now, it doesn't make any sense for us to talk about the Pacquiao fight, which is probably, you know, should be like 140 pounders. So it just doesn't make any sense. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> what? How? How? Come. Absolutely not. That fight would never happen. Not unless Lomachenko freaking swallow himself or just freaking <laughs> eat all life. We can see that you be a need for augmentation and you gun you need the beats for your pistola B C E L one one five is where you need to be. Come on and step into the back, my son. We can see that you be a need for augmentation and you gun you need the beats. Uh Bob, have you had any thoughts on matching up? Manny Pacquiao with uh, Terence Crawford in the future? Well, I, I obviously have a lot of thoughts all the time. Sure, if he fights Terence Crawford at the end of the year, which is probably the only fight 
I would really want Pacquiao to fight in um, because it kind of passes the torch for Crawford. Needs that kind of fight sure. to turn over. And top um, rank does too. I'd love to see Manny fight Terrence Crawford. What do you I think of that one? Love it, you know? I think it would be a great fight. If Mayweather doesn't come, Crawford could be next. There's a period of time, which is my first concern always, because remember, this is not his day job. My first uh, job is to confirm everything. How do you beat a guy like, like Terrence, Fred? Do you, do you a special fighter, special game plan? Bring your 45. Bring your 45. <laughs> <laughs> he's tough to beat. I think he's a very good fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's going to take him. Much has been talked about the winner of this fight maybe fighting Manny Pacquiao. How, what kind of case do you think that Terrence Crawford well, made for gonna, himself? We're going to celebrate this weekend, right, guys? And then they're going to go back to Omaha. And then I'm going to fly out and we'll talk about the next fight. <laughs> hey, Dale, let me tell you, I'm really proud of him. I'm proud of him. And, you know, and that's love. I appreciate it. All right. The matchmaker said the kid ain't ready yet. You know, did you just see what he did to fucking Bradley? Do you want that done to Terrence? A lot of my matchmakers think that Manny is too much for him. He is vulnerable to a good southpaw punch. You know, he leaves himself open a little bit. When guys retire undefeated, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't pass the torch. And I think right. that fight has to happen. Terrence is a, a special talent. He fights as good southpaw as he does right-handed. You know, I love the way he starts slow, feels out his opponent, and then he knocks him out. The fact that he fights lefty or righty makes him very dangerous. Good pace, Terrence. Oh, right. Yeah, he's too strong. Too fast. Crawford isn't going to happen. Uh, there's been multiple reports from Aram saying that no, not yet. That two weeks ago, Crawford was the only name mentioned on the phone by Bob Aram. He said, you got to fight him sooner or later. I said, I'd rather fight him right now. He's not He's not Superman. He's not unbeatable. And I, I, I think Manny will beat him. Um, I heard Crawford ask for $7 million and Bob said no. If he beats Horn, and if he looks good beating Horn, then down the road, there's Terrence Crawford. Pacquiao is still the lineal welterweight champion, unless you really thought Horn beat him and he would be in a very, 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 very tiny minority. Pacquiao, after his fight with Timothy Bradley, said he was retiring. And that's the argument taken up by some of the pundits who have quote-unquote stripped Pacquiao of his lineal title. You become the man when you beat the man. Fighting Pacquiao would be, you know, as just passing the torch to Terrence, the way kind of De La Hoya did for Mayweather. I thought Pacquiao. the torch may have passed on July 1st. Really? Do you guys remember when Jeff Horn became Manny Pacquiao's mandatory challenger? Do you remember the outcry from the usual suspects? How is that a cherry, cherry picking when you have no choice but to fight your mandatory, right? I mean, you could vacate the belt, like Terence Crawford did his IBF because he didn't want to fight his mandatory, right? And then moved up in weight to fight Jeff Horn! Huh! <laughs> That's a cherry pick! Uh, the winner of Terence against either Horn or Crawford, whoever's the welterweight champ. So he'll finally get a crack at uh, Manny Pacquiao, but he'll be the champion Terence will be, and Manny will be the challenge. He was missing. I don't know if I'm gonna fight again or not. I'm gonna retire as of now. I have to talk to my leader. I don't know if I'm gonna fight again or not. I'm gonna retire as of now. That's Muhammad Ali speaking to the world after defeating George Foreman. George Foreman was the lineal heavyweight champion and Muhammad Ali took that from him. 1974, and he remained, despite the fact that he said he was retiring, he remained the lineal champion for about four years. But this shouldn't be a surprise because Pacquiao has always been mistreated. He's been robbed numerous times. They've attempted to rob him a million times. And anybody who doesn't recognize Pacquiao as one of the greatest fighters of all time who had to do it against all odds. So I wouldn't mind seeing Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford in Omaha. I think that would be great. They would go crazy. He paid. This is what you do. Many express interest in fighting Terrence Crawford to you? Yes, he has. A, yes, he has a, you know, uh, obviously he would like to get the rematch first, but 
that could be our next fight because I mean, if we don't get a rematch with Mayweather and so forth, that's the, that's the road we might have to take. Danny Garcia, another name, Un undefeated prospect, uh, undefeated champion, very exciting fighter. You just never know. What about Thurman and Porter? Perhaps the winner of, of those two. Um. No, I like being on this side. So all of a sudden, the Terrence Crawfords, the Errol Spence Juniors, the Canelo Alvarez Triple G winner, the list goes on and on. A uh, Manny Pacquiao, assuming he shows up tomorrow night. But I'm happy with being on this side, you know. Every day, everyone is a asking this, Floyd, are you coming back? Floyd, are you coming back? Floyd never talked about fighting Kell Brook. Kell Brook had a terrific record. If you're gonna fight fighters like Robert Guerrero, Victor Ortiz, and Andre Berto when he wasn't on a tremendous winning streak. So that's why I used to argue that I wanted to fight with Floyd Mayweather. If you could return out of retirement to fight a Conor McGregor, if you could go into retirement fighting an Andre Berto, damn it, come on back, fight somebody real and legit. Floyd will never get in the ring with Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence at this point in his career. Maybe not, what about Pacquiao? You, yeah. you get out with your marbles, your money, is that, you said that that's the most important thing, but let's say a couple years go by and it just interests you again. People talk about a Pacquiao rematch. How many more years do you think you could stay out and then still be able to jump back in the ring? As of right now, absolutely not. I'm gonna make you face me in the rematch in the octagon. As you know, and everybody know, I go in retirement, I come back. I go in retirement, I come back. It has to be in the octagon. Thinking about getting into MMA, what do you think? He's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> what, he's gonna get his ass kicked? You don't think he can hold himself? He can't fucking wrestle, come on, man. <laughs> Un deporte de contacto, pero distinto. Se va a tirar y le van a pagar un millón de dólares. It could be against Conor McGregor. We don't know. I can wrestle. You know, my wrestling game is, is not that bad. On the scale of from one to ten, I would say it's, it's probably a seven. But we could do a multi-fight deal. Uh, of course, my hand game is on the scale from one to ten, it's a hundred. Bullshit. And the kicking game. Uh, on the scale of a one to ten, it's probably a, a four. So I feel that we don't know. Do you want to do it? Absolutely. Has he asked you your opinion? Do you think I should do this? No. It, what would you say to him if he did? I would say I would want him to do it. Um, I would never want to see anything happen to him. Well, he might do it, man, but you know, my thing is I'm not sure about so you know. I feel discouraged for uh, being a politician because of the system of, of politics in, in the Philippines. If you would ever fight Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Would you rather see uh, McGregor Mayweather or McGregor Pacquiao? I would see McGregor Pacquiao. Yeah, you think it'll be a better fight? No, McGregor okay, well, Mayweather. Pac or, uh, McGregor has no chance with either one of those guys. <laughs> All respect to Manny Pacquiao, one of my favorite boxers of all time. Uh, I think for me personally, I would rather much see Conor get back into MMA. Conor beat Manny? Uh, no. No. Not in boxing. Filipino boxer has reached out to the camp of Conor McGregor concerning a potential boxing match in April of 2018. Wow. Maybe, maybe Ben Pacquiao stops Connor earlier and then makes a bigger deal and then maybe maybe with Pacquiao get back to that. Wow. I've had Manny, some of Manny's friends call me and say, can you talk to Connor's management? I've had that happen over the last six months. It's not my position to do that. I told him, you guys know who to call. They heard nothing back from a break. It's not a fucking fight. <laughs> you want a spectacle? Somehow, rumor Pacquiao was uh, planning on uh, taking McGregor in a fight. Is that true? Not that I know of. I talked to Aram, and Aram says it's not true. But would he, would he beat him worse than Floyd did? Yes. <laughs> Wasn't much of a fight. <laughs> no, no. A real fight? An MMA or a boxing? Exactly. What about Pacquiao? Would you fight Pacquiao? 
Connor, please, Connor, would you play Pacquiao or? No, maybe. No, oh, by the way. Well, one thing I'm sh I would be sure of is Manny wouldn't carry McGregor the way the other guy did. That's, that's good. <laughs> is the future for Manny Pacquiao. The last fight you lost against Jeff Horn. <clears throat> People say, of course, that you actually won that fight. Yes. But then aren't you nervous that your record will be tarnished by, you know what I mean? Hindi naman. Uh, Siyempre, he's not getting any younger. So always reminding him that. Manny, should he retire? Should he retire? I don't know, man. I, I mean, and uh, no, I don't think. He should, unless he wants to. Um, definitely uh, the hardest punch I've been up against. Uh, I've been up against the Cubans, guys from other countries. Out there. Still too fast. Still uh, hits hard enough to where they're scared and respect the shit out of him. His feet are still too quick. Uh, his hands are too quick. Good. His defense has gotten so good over the years. Then he comes in. He's you know he's southpaw. He'll hit you. Step to the side. Hit you. Step the other way. You know his hand speed is fantastic. He hasn't lost that at all. We saw that in the Jesse Vargas fight. This fights now for his career. I think it should be based on legacy and finance. At this stage of his career, somebody meaningful, somebody that's going to be not only profitable, some fight that's going to um, you know enhance his legacy. So, we want our fighters to give us some kind of classic fights. We talk about those fights like Marquez and, 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 and uh... I think when he fought Marquez, he was knocked out brutally and he came right back. I've never in my life seen anything like that. I mean, this guy bounced right back like it never happened. He's a phenomenal fighter. You can never put anything past him as far as saying he shot, no way. Was he the best he could have been? Was he as prepared? No, no, no. And of course, you know, he won the fight. My honest opinion, I just think that, I think Manny Pacquiao, like every other fighter, steps up to the level of opposition. And that's the main key. Does Manny feel like the same to you though? Can he continue? Oh yeah. Or is he getting older? You know, like, no, he looked like amazing. Getting older now. I just, what I saw was, you're in Australia, with not too much time there. It may have affected him a little, but performance-wise, he's an animal. What do you see different from the many that you fought, uh, you know, what, a year ago? You know what, that Jeff Horn made it into an ugly fight. Uh, yeah, Manny overtrained a bit to prove to himself that um, he was where he was. It was difficult this time, I'm not going to lie to you. He didn't train properly. Of course, he's 38 years old. He's, had a, he's still punching, he's still throwing, he's got speed, he's got power. Every, every boxer knows that when you're in front of a street fighter, you know what I mean? And like a sloppy, ugly fighter, you just gotta take your time and catch him. But it might take you a while because you're not accustomed to seeing that. You know what I mean? You're not in the habit of seeing those type of styles. I think that took a toll on Manny Pacquiao. He, he was overconfident. He possibly didn't prepare for it because if you look at the fight, he, he looked like he gassed out. Right. He looked tired, especially after the ninth round he was done. Alvarez Horn, as you all know, was the most viewed boxing match in the world in over a decade. No, but no fight has had more people watching it on TV in the past 11 fucking years. But no one wants to watch this guy fight no more, huh? He needs to retire. Like, really? You know, I have a lot of love and respect for him, and you know, this last fight that he had was a bummer, you know? Probably why boxing fans around the world that was a that was a pile of shit, horse shit. How do you unanimously beat somebody and lose? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. All right, then we had fucking HBO lying to us and saying Canelo was the pay-per-view king. Ask them. Ask them why they fucking lied when they had the numbers right in fuck in front of them and knew the truth. You know that's why our channels are needed to call the bullshit out. <laughs> It's <laughs> still packed B game and C game is still better than a lot of guys A game. Oh, he's done, he's done, he needs to retire. I'm like, alright. 
I still think Pacquiao is up there as, as one of the best world champions. People kind of forget about him. Exactly. Huh? He's a yeah. world champion. He, I think he's still up there. Top three, top five at least. Things definitely have come a long way since Pac-Man. I hate this world of social media. <laughs> no, I do. For our sports tonight, no less than Manny Pacquiao himself should take the lead in fixing whatever turmoil is bugging his camp. Recently, longtime trainer Freddie Roach expressed his disappointment. Honestly, there's a lot of people very, very unhappy about this decision, both in the Philippines and back in America. Yeah, you know, yeah, in there, but I don't know if the referee can control that or what it was, but. So I thought it was a pretty close fight. Uh, even Freddie had some reservations early on. He was quoted in the press saying that, you know, the camp wasn't going well and whatnot. And then he feels like it was difficult this time, I'm not going to lie to you. He threw me under the bus because I told him that story about the corner. I gave him that story. Yeah. I, it was a very unorganized, uh, unorganized corner and I didn't like it. Yeah, between Boo Boy and uh, Miguel and, and Boo Boy being like emotional and crying. It wasn't the greatest corner we, we've ever had. Pacquiao already stated his readiness to return to action and avenge his latest defeat to Horn. Can Pacquiao retire after the Horn fight? Um, I would like to see him maybe fight a rematch with Horn, otherwise retire. Yeah. I mean, Pacquiao, um, he must, must be a little bit upset at him for asking him to maybe make a decision that he didn't want to make. WBO welterweight title belt on the line against Jeff Horn and Pacquiao's trainer Freddie Roach he says that he should retire if he loses this fight Stephen A. Um, if he loses the way that he lost to Timothy Bradley which should not have been a loss at all then I respectfully disagree. You're still one of the 10 best fighters in the world in your weight class you're not someone off the street. Pac's on do what Pac's on do. Hey division one champion man I mean you know I, I got a utmost respect for Pac. People ah oh, you know oh, why are you kissing his ass. I don't care because I, I've been in the ring with this guy he's a tough he's a tough motherfucker. I mean, he's a tough mama jama bro. Yeah. I don't feel like Manny Pacquiao should have retired years ago. I still see a lot of speed. I still see a lot of agility. But what he's done in terms of knocking down Algeria, what he did in terms of outboxing Timothy Bradley. Beat Vargas. Yep. And beat Vargas as well. Handily. I had to cover that fight. That horn fight, he won that fight to me. I think I think Pac still got some left, man. I really do. This is Michael Dot Stott. We're gonna talk some boxing. And this is some hate speech right here, motherfucker. Freddy fucking Roach. He shits on his fucking fighters in the press conferences when they lose. If his fighters win, he acts like he fucking takes all the credit. Explain why you fucked up and couldn't get your guy to win. Not Victor Postal is just too slow or Victor Postal is too this or too that. Fuck that fucking guy. Fuck that fucking guy. Fuck Freddie Roach, dude. Fuck Freddie Roach. Fire his fucking ass. Watching him stretch you for an hour every day. I says, You're an athlete, you know how to stretch yourself, you've done it your whole life, you don't need a guy in there I like hugging and kissing and just it was like, you know, it was like he's making love to me and he like because he wanted to feel needed. You know, he, uh, he so hard, so hard, so deep. No. No. Oh wow. I mean Manny doesn't plan on retiring yet. Yeah. No. Aaron is we still have two fights left for him. Justin Bieber made a decision that he didn't really want to interact with Floyd Mayweather. So Floyd Mayweather um, found out um, that Justin Bieber unfollowed him on Instagram, which in Floyd's view was a declaration of war. Bieber said, you're a traitor, you betrayed me, I stuck with you when you had your personal meltdown. That relationship seems to be over. I'm not saying 
that I don't like Andre Ward. When I face Jose Luis Castillo, and they said whatever they had to say, you know, when they were like, oh, because that was the first time they ever seen, seen Floyd Mayweather in somewhat of a battle towards the, towards the end of the fight. We thought Castillo, we thought Castillo won. I said, okay, if you believe Castillo won, when they said, when they said Floyd fight, I said, run it back. When I fought McDonald, they said, oh, he gave for the rough boys money we thought he won. Run it back. You can't, you can't lose to a guy. You can't lose to a guy in somewhat of a battle. You can't lose to a guy and then you can't fight a guy. Well, then y'all got a rematch clause. You say, you know what? I'm thinking about retiring. If you you won. gonna be the same fight that it would have been at the time everyone wanted it. Okay. I think at it would have been the same. At the time everyone wanted it, everyone was excited for <laughs> it. It would have been funny. I don't think it would have been the same. I think it would have been different, man, because they were both out of their primes at that time. I think it would have been a lot, a lot better. A lot better. Yes, I do. You know yes, why? Because he's a stupid fighter. He don't have no jab. Fighter. Yeah. I think he's a great fighter. He, he's, a, he's athletic and all that, but I think he's a great when fighter. you in there with a tech, Floyd you is can't great. do nothing. Floyd is great. I'm not, I'm not, make, I'm not saying that Floyd That's, wouldn't have, have won that fight. Floyd would have stopped him. I'm trying to tell you, Floyd, Dude. listen, you can't Floyd, beat Floyd. Floyd. Floyd was active. Pacquiao was more well. aggressive, and that's why no, he I said he would have got no, stopped. No, he wouldn't. Well, you know why? When you in front of a certain yes, type of individual, when you in front of a certain type of individual, they command a certain type of respect out of you. So it don't matter when Pacquiao went for Floyd. When you in there looking, you think all these guys don't be in shape for Floyd. You think they all don't train their hardest. But when you in front of the man, 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 man. <laughs> what about Edwin Valero versus Pacquiao? Edwin Valero. Why you beat Edwin Valero? Why you turn? Why you? Hey, why you turn your back? He was special. So Pacquiao, Pacquiao is lucky Edwin Valero was gone because we wouldn't even know Pacquiao, bro. Those who humble him himself will be exalted, and those who exalted will be humble. I did my best. I'll come to win. Did, do you dislike Manny Pacquiao? N no, I don't dislike Manny. You don't? Did you dislike him before the fight? No. Gucci, I got three losses and two draws and been knocked out twice. So, and on to the next. N no, I don't dislike Manny. You don't? So, cook, you don't know, cook that little young chump. So, so the fans ain't got to worry about me fighting the midget. Did you dislike him before the fight? No. Once well, I keep the midget ass, I don't want y'all to jump on my dick. So, y'all better jump on. I'm going to make that motherfucker cook. Uh, make me a, a sushi roll. It could be some rice. Not to be racist or anything, but Asian people. <laughs> and the winner by unanimous decision is Mayweather. Wait, what? I'm the champion. I win. I did it. I'm the winner. Yay. Oh. I just had to believe in myself. Antonio Margarito. What do you think about that? Hmm. Why didn't the the other fight happen? Why? With Floyd? Yeah. They just couldn't agree. Maybe Donald Trump could get in there and compromise. <laughs> well, just a major negotiator right there. I'm sure he can get in. Okay. Uh, things happened, and it was it just didn't work out the way it was supposed to work out. A lot of people thought actually that uh, Mayweather didn't win because he wasn't aggressive. He was uh, look, he's an excellent boxer, but his matches are usually not exciting. And the aggressor was Pacquiao. One thing I learned from the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight is that when an angry Filipino comes up to you and tries to punch your face off, the best way to stop the fight is to give him a big hug. Yeah. <laughs> so they say, yeah, Floyd, the fight didn't live up to the expectations. No, he didn't do what the fuck he's supposed to do. I went out there and did what I was supposed to do. I kicked his ass. You know, I beat him 80%. It wasn't nothing. I learned that he knew in his heart that he won. He's kind of new, and the thing is, I don't think they really communicate that well. I think he communicates a bit better with Roger, and I think Roger 
is a better guy in the corner for, for, him, for him. The kid's going to be a little bit lost and he's going to have no, no one guiding him along the way. Can I just ask quickly about the Floyd Mayweather fight? That was a huge fight. I think um, oh, that, that fight, um, if I recall, uh, it's kind of uh, it's a boring fight. Because right. yeah. uh, okay. he's very defensive, isn't he, man? Defensive and yeah. um, moving around. For Pacquiao, he should have like, gave him the fans a fight. Right? He should have given him the fans a fight. Oh, so you were disappointed in this performance that night? Yeah, I was kind of. Yeah. yeah. More people were disappointed, not necessarily about the results, but just the, fight, the way the fight went because of the fact that Floyd won by, you know, by being smart. And he had, and in the sport of boxing, apparently running away from your opponent is referred to as strategy, whereas in a street fight, it's referred to as being a pussy. <laughs> Floyd was very defensive that fight, right? Ever did the thought of him not getting the win ever cross your mind in the corner? I would have been, I would have been devastated. Since we got it, let's be happy. But this is the biggest fight of both of their careers. So they might bring a little something extra. They have to. Fight like you scared, man. But you were, so you were convinced that Floyd was in the fight. Floyd Mayweather losing, man. No matter what, I love him. Running away the whole time, and I could yes, it is called running away. When you refuse to engage, that ain't boxing. You guys need to learn what boxing is. What would shock you the most if Floyd was able to neutralize Manny and win a decision? That would shock me the most. So your prediction leads me to think you think this is Manny's fight. This is, this is his last fight. You should give him a fight. For that, for that one night, I, I feel like he should. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Actually, I thought he should have left it all on the line that night. Yeah. Cause we waited so long. It's like it's like the Super Bowl of boxing. Like you gotta. We waited seven years for that fight. Yeah. Um, I'm a kind of boxer that I want. You know, just let's head on. I mean, toe to toe. Toe to toe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to have a boxing match like that with you. <laughs> <laughs> the Mayweather Pacquiao fight. Both fighters received a combined total of over 200 million dollars. Whereas the last fight I was in, the best I could do was 50 bucks out of his wallet. Coupon for. 10% off the local taxidermist. I used it. For what? Ran over a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> stuffed him and stuck him on a pole. Put it out back in the dojo. Keeps the nutcases away. A lot of people were agreeing with me. A lot of people were saying, you don't know shit about boxing. And that's fine. I'm a casual boxing fan. Hey, I still stand behind what I said. Hey, right? Mayweather won, but. Uh. This thing is to, uh, to another level, man. <laughs> Let's take a look back at Mayweather versus Pacquiao, round 11. That was a round 11, that one went the distance. Floyd Mayweather walking away with a victory, 49 and all, look, that's interesting, round 11. Oh, shit. So long story short, how does the opinion of anybody change what actually happened in the ring? It doesn't. So when people like myself and Artorias Boxing made videos in HD showing you what actually happened in the fight and breaking it down, those were the most credible, most honest, least biased breakdowns. The rules of boxing, as listed by BoxRec, because a lot of people don't seem to know these rules when they're scoring fights. Uh, Floyd Mayweather gave us an interview and he asked us uh, about why you don't want to fight him. What? Me? Can you, yeah. Who? He told us. <laughs> why I didn't fight him? <laughs> what happened with the fight of Floyd? He's the one don't fight. What do you think he don't want to fight? So I went over there. I said, why you keep ducking and dodging me and you telling people that I'm dodging you? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm a real fighter because I fight bigger than me. I fought anybody.
Mayweather was in the crowd for the fight after accepting tickets left for him by the Filipino champion. I was kind of shocked when I seen him on TV, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Mayweather was invited to the fight by Manny, and he did come. Floyd Mayweather sat front row and was watching the fight. He was invited by Manny Pacquiao because I think it's inevitable that we see Pacquiao Mayweather number two. Talking about he would be healthy this time around, mm -hmm. so he wouldn't mind a rematch. His shoulder somehow got hurt, and that's why he lost to you, okay? We got some dude in the UFC, I, I, Conor I, McGregor you know, talking. I say, Go I ahead. Say, I want to say thank you for so many years. Paul Floyd is scared of Manny Pacquiao, he's a coward. It's not my fault that I made the fight so easy. That's not my fault. Because the world wasn't built in a day. Everything takes time. He is lying when he says he wants to make up for the Pacquiao fight. He does not care about fans. He doesn't care about anybody else except himself. Rumors of a Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao rematch swirled after the Pac Man's win over Jesse Vargas on Saturday. Si Pacquiao y Mayweather se pusieran de acuerdo y pelearan otra vez, la gente volviera a comprar la pelea. And the more we say Pacquiao Mayweather 2, maybe it'll actually poof into reality. And I heard that they had a meeting about 5 a.m. that that evening. This is America. Come on, bro. Don't get me slipping up. Don't get me slipping up. <laughs> That's a possibility, um, you know, if that fight can happen. Told him just bullfaced lie about the fact of his shoulder being whatever. One thing he did say was, when they asked him about Manny recently, he said that he, Manny was a lot harder than he thought. It was a tougher fight, he was a, a, a better fighter than he felt. Yeah, with two hands, it would have even been better. <laughs> fight was a tricky fight for Floyd, and by the time the rematch comes around, he will have forgotten that. Well, as long as um, he stay in boxing, uh, I, there's still a chance to, to have a fight with him again. But uh, right now, I cannot say about uh, the rematch or anything. Just... If you're ever going to fight Mayweather again. Um, I don't know yet. Coming up, will Floyd Mayweather agree to a rematch with Manny Pacquiao? Skip and Shannon debate that next. What's up with Floyd uh, ringside for Pacquiao's fight over Vargas? Well, I will tell you, to Floyd is retired, but Floyd loves money. Fighter, would you like to see, I mean, Mayweather was ringside, would you like to see Mayweather Pacquiao one more time and for what reasons? I mean, everybody knows that I'm a boxing fan as well. Uh, of course, you know, um, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it again. That we're still very interested in seeing what could happen again. He says one minute, he's retired. And then the next minute he says, but I am a businessman. Showed up there at ringside, sitting right behind me for a reason. He wanted to be seen. Mm -hmm. Then I'm at the Manny Pacquiao fight, who sit behind me? It's Floyd Money Mayweather. <laughs> I just spoke to Floyd Mayweather, who was standing here. I said, well, what did you think? He said, it's cool. He just wanted to take his daughter out for a fight and go see it while he was in town. But there's a particular guy that was given front row VIP treatment, Floyd Joy Mayweather Jr. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's not if, it's when. The retired Floyd Mayweather sat ringside for the fight, leading to speculation of a possible Mayweather-Pacquiao rematch. Yesterday, Pacquiao said, quote, if the fans in boxing want that rematch, then why not? And if Manny Pacquiao, the more successful Manny Pacquiao is, the more he may be able to convince folks that if he got a second shot at Floyd, he would probably take him out. I do not believe that Floyd Mayweather will fight Manny Pacquiao now for any amount of money, not after what he got to see up close and personal on Saturday night in Las Vegas. No way will Floyd risk his undefeated legacy against that. Manny, who said afterwards that it was his idea to invite Floyd to the fight, looked over at him, sitting ringside, and grinned at him as if to say, you want some of me when I'm healthy? The biggest fight we can ever remember was a great fight against Floyd Mayweather, who was unbeaten at the time. It's the most expensive fight, the highest payday ever in the history of boxing and Floyd never been beaten, the two of you went to this points decision at the end. They did mention Floyd, you know, if they do it right, 
I'm fine. After every loss, Manny has always came back like with something to prove. So he wants that Floyd Mayweather rematch more than anything. Do you think you'd love to have another crack at it? To get Floyd out of retirement and fight him again. Stepping stone to Floyd Mayweather, pretty much. We don't know. Well, if there's a chance, why not? What's your thoughts about the Mayweather Pacquiao fight? They're gonna get paid. <laughs> They're gonna get paid. Both of them gonna get paid. People don't realize how cool Manny Pacquiao and I really are. He literally likes making fun of me. I spoke to him tonight. I was in his room tonight. We we spoke uh, for, for about a half hour to 45 minutes with the rest. Um, and he was instantly started laughing because I'm sitting there. He sees me, starts laughing. He's like, oh, no, here he comes. <laughs> I, I, I love those interviews because uh, especially my, my show is fixed already. Um, but uh, it depends on him if he wants to, to fight again or if stay in boxing. There's a chance this possible to win very much. Do you, do you think he would have won that fight if he shown him? You might as well say. Even that fight, uh, I never think that I lost that fight. But, you know. I'm excited o over him fighting Floyd Mayweather if Floyd does come back. I love Floyd. I mean, I'm not one of these guys that says that Floyd is a defensive fighter and he doesn't make good fights. I, th I think Floyd's terrific. So from the bottom of my heart, I'd love for him to come out of retirement, fight Manny. The Pacquiao you trained in this camp, how would he have done against the Mayweather you trained? No. The first fight, Manny says that he messed up his shoulder. You know, and uh, we'll see if, if the second fight does happen, we'll see if that was the case. What he does, he's still doing very well. Bounces in and out. If we see Mayweather Pacquiao again, the interest will still be there, even if it's a quarter of which, it'll still be over a million buys. It's the most money either one of them can make. Congratulations. You got another belt, another championship. There's another champion who's retired in Floyd Money Mayweather. Who is on your mind? Who do you want to fight next? I don't know, whoever uh, the people wants to, to fight me, I'm okay with that. I'm not uh, picking any opponent or choosing any opponent. Whoever uh, my promoter gave, to, gave it to me, then I will fight. We all know that you're all about giving the people what they want. Who do you want? <laughs> and sure enough, I came with the question, is, is this the only fight you're going to have? Or is, is there something else you're looking forward to? He said, I know where you're going. I know. You're looking forward to Manny Pacquiao because you expect him to be Vargas and you're hopeful that's going to lead to something even greater. Mike, is this still the biggest fight in boxing? Business-wise, yes, right? I don't think it, there's any other fight thing that can do two million buys, and that's half of what they did. Now, here's the thing. The next fight, which is going to happen, it looks to me, the next fight's going to do half the business of the first. That means two million plus pay-per-views. What if the pay-per-view went from $99 to $59? I think there's a certain universe of fans who if those two guys are fighting, they're gonna buy it. It's gonna do bigger business than any other fight in boxing. It's still the biggest fight in the world and so forth, and the thing is, whatever it takes to get him in the ring, we have to do. Um, we might have to fight one more time because if we beat him the second time, we might have to fight the trilogy. <laughs> Thank you. Aram said it's 75%. He thinks it's gonna happen. Your thoughts on, on a mega fight against uh, uh, Totally false. I mean, if, if you don't hear it from my mouth, it's not true. If Pacquiao continues to look relatively decent, that could potentially be <laughs> another $100 million fight. Would he get a rematch? <laughs> or would you, what about Triple G? I don't want you to get Triple G. Are you not going to? Listen, I tried to get a pain killing injection from the, the Nevada state officials, and they declined because they said the paperwork wasn't right. I don't know what went on behind the scenes. I don't know who blew that. But he fought him with no painkiller and needing surgery the following day. Total rotator cuff, but you, you've had the surgery. Pacquiao's 50. <laughs> no other will fight him. I ain't saying he's scared, but I'm saying he don't want to fight. One of the best fighters I ever faced. He has accomplished so much in the sport of boxing. The angles that he used. He says he wants a rematch. Don't they all? <laughs> they want a rematch. Do I think they will be? Do I think there will be a rematch? Yes. He was at that fight. He was at the fight for one reason. But knowing me, the week of the fight, I'm always gonna have this idea of you know maybe Manny can test him. I mean I know I'm not exactly helping 
but that's what's gonna happen. I already know it. I, I, I will be excited for it at the end of the but day. Mike, we have the excuse, we cover boxes. Sure. I, I mean, I don't know how they sell this one. Uh, what's the slogan, IV free? Or Manny has well, two good shoulders this well, time. Or, that's what I was going to say. Or it can't possibly be bad as the first. I mean, what? There is a 75% chance that Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather will fight again. But he would fight Pacquiao okay, again. Okay, Absolutely. Okay, okay. That's a fight everyone's clamoring okay. for. Huh? Mayweather, Pacquiao okay. too? Well, why did he come to my gym twice too? I mean, was he looking for Manny Pacquiao or not? I mean, <laughs> I, I think it's going to happen. There's a, there's a lot on the table. If that's the case and he's got another potential, you know, $100 million payday, why not take it? Why? I'd rather throw it to fight a bigger guy than a smaller guy. Do you think it will lead to a rematch with Manny? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to think so. I don't know, you know, I, I, one thing you got to say is Floyd's been out of the ring for a while. But to see Floyd against it's Pacquiao, they will at least watch. The rematch will do big right. business. Now, if he goes and fights Manny again, he would get that credit. Yeah, I can get that credit, but who cares? If, if, if they do it with if they do it with Pac-Man again, Pac-Man will get packed all over. Freddie Roach says that you want Mayweather. Are you waiting around for Floyd Mayweather to give you a rematch? What's ultimately the reason why you're continuing to fight? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> If you have VADA testing here, if you have um, some sort of medical clearance before the fight. It's just like I said, everybody is going to say, no, we don't want the fight, week of the fight. You're going to be interested because it's Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. A lot of Filipino fans that think Manny won the first fight. There's all these conspiracy theories about the judging. There's all these conspiracy theories about the judging. There's a possibility because still in, in boxing, it's now active in boxing and I'm active in boxing, so the, the negotiation, we, <clears throat> we're not talking about that yet. <clears throat> we're not talking about that yet. For a rematch, which could, could potentially generate the kind of dollars That's that it. you would want. So would that make you reconsider coming out of retirement? That's what I'm asking. Is he really back in boxing? I feel like it's kind of half boxing, half MMA. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> Only thing that I'm probably interested in is probably the Conor McGregor fight. Really? Oh, I'll get it. Just for the entertainment value. I mean, well, and, what was the entertainment value last time? No, I don't mean just the fight. I mean, like, who would be stunned by this? I said it the day after it happened. They're going to wait a, a certain amount of time, and there's going to be a rematch. Oh, and stop. Joey, stop. This is he what I believe, Cannon. This is what I believe. No, you do not believe I also that. believe he is not taking this fight, because if he loses, he's going to have to fight again. He's not going to lose. Yeah, I'm going to pay for it. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely yes. going to watch it. I mean, it's something. Obviously, we waited for it for years, and then when we got it, it was it was too late. Parece ser que difícilmente está peleando por dinero. Lo hace también por el amor al deporte. Él dice que quiere pelear con Mayweather. Ajá. Paquio continúa siendo un peleador peligroso. That talk seems to have died down. How, how well does that fight do well, the know, second time around? They can make more money fighting each other than they can anybody else. That's the big thing. Even even yeah. though the first fight was a stinker. If he does come back, he'd have to take like a tune-up or, or can he jump right into a Manny Pacquiao fight? I think he'd beat his ass right now without even no no counter spine. He might gonna kill his ass this time. You gonna put stop him this time? I think I think I think I think it's that. You're putting me into the <laughs> into a um, situation that uh yeah, 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 I understand, I understand that, but, you know, I'm willing to fight again. I'm willing to fight again if the fans um, want, uh, want that fight, and if he want, uh, why not? I mean, uh, especially, uh, I have no problem with my, my shoulder, and if that thing is okay, well, that's going to be uh, different uh, than the first one. And we knew it was too late it. that time, and we still bought it. Yes, and we're going to watch it. We are fish on the end of a hook, my friend. Former world heavyweight champion James Buster Douglas. I like to see him re rematch with Mayweather. Okay. It was a close fight, and uh, but I think in the next fight it'd be even more dominant. Okay. And I think he would uh, come up victorious. And well possible, Manny is incredible, man. He has great hand speed, and, you know, short work. Lang kapo ng fighting senator. Kay Asuncion PTV Sports. Pacquiao and Mayweather will fight again because neither, because Floyd is not interested in boxing anymore. Okay. 
So he's interested in cashing in on events. Okay. Who could blame him? What are you, what are you getting at, he's, man? Floyd Mayweather hasn't fought since 2015 against a boxer. It's two years. So? By the time he fights Pacquiao in a rematch, he'll be rematching against the guy he's already beaten. He's going to forget how tricky that fight was. Say run. what you're gonna say! I can't believe what you're alluding to, Max. Let it out. Let it out. He what is, are you trying to say? Is, if he can fight his fight and Mayweather lays on the ropes and tries to be docile, he's going to land too many punches. Not that he's going to be beat, beat to death, no. But Pacquiao's going to throw more punches, score more points, and win the fight. And in that fight, there is a very good chance that Pacquiao very good. will stop Floyd Mayweather. What? That's right. Max Kellerman! Even if he doesn't look good against Jeff Horn, maybe especially if he doesn't look good, Floyd's going to look at that and think, I already beat that guy and he's gotten worse. Meantime, Floyd's going to feel really good after destroying oh, Conor McGregor. But the truth of the matter is, Floyd will not have fought a real boxer in three years. Meantime, Pacquiao will have fought three or four times against real world-class fighters. Floyd would be in danger of being stopped. He would come into the fight overconfident, and basically inactive, having not fought in three full years. Record doesn't count. I'm texting Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm I just text Floyd Money Mayweather. I told him to turn on TV. I told him to turn on TV right now. I'm just, and I hope he I hope he watches this. The blasphemy right. that just came out of your mouth. The blasphemy. For training camp, what has easily happened dispatched to an opponent. What has happened Meantime, to you? Are you talking about taking the less punishment and breaking our records, it's Floyd Mayweather. Muhammad Ali paved the way for me to be where I'm at today. Ali had, had the, the thrill in Manila. Mm -hmm. He had he had all the... But guess what? No, I just want to get to this question. You didn't seem like you got into those brawls with guys. That's not cool. That's not cool. What we what I'm here to teach, the cool thing about my career is this. I retired 49 and 0. My question to you was going to be, what was your greatest moment in the ring? In this camp, I, I studied, I studied, I studied Pretty Boy Floyd, not, you know, um, not money, money. I, I studied Pretty Boy Floyd, and you know. Floyd Mayweather certainly seems like it. His entourage was shot at early Monday morning, but somebody ambushed the caravan and opened fire, shooting at the lead vehicle. Floyd's longtime bodyguard, Greg LaRosa, was struck in the leg. Shooter wasn't finished yet and tried to lose him in traffic, like trying to make crazy turns and stuff and sped away. Drove Greg to a local hospital where he was treated for a gunshot wound to the leg. On top of breaking news, 
outside of an upscale Buckhead Hotel. Police are responding to reports of a shooting near the Intercontinental Hotel. Shot a man outside a Buckhead Hotel lobby. Uh, the shooting here may have ties to a celebrity entourage we're working to. That's right, Fred, and I'm told that the person was shot right at the front entrance of this hotel. <laughs> Tell me there's a guy close to my wig vision that you thought would beat me. Because if you told me that, then you just wrote him on a scripted nightmare. Because it's a must that I find out. That's what real boxing was about when I came along. Had he beat Pacquiao earlier, he could have retired earlier because he's so boring that we would have stayed awake to watch the fight on my lips. <laughs> my daughter didn't draw blood that he's crying to the referee. Oh, he bit me! He bit me! Really? <laughs> And that's the highlight, that's the highlight of 24 rounds of boxing from pound for pound, supposedly the best fight in the world. What the hell are we doing now? Not a single person on earth ever even wondered, is Floyd as good as Roy? You understand how good Roy Jones was? Thank you, thank you so much for the inspiration uh, to Pacquiao. He, he has been watching Manny Pacquiao, and Manny Pacquiao has been his hero from the beginning. So uh, he, he, he just wants to thank Manny Pacquiao for inspiring him to be a good boxer. That means style as well as substance. And I don't think that uh, style-wise, that he has earned that kind of accolade. accolade that to me, Pacquiao is a better fighter. Pacquiao fought everybody in their primes. He speak like a real man spoke. Real man speak. Like, man, she had a fat ass. You see her ass? I had to squeeze her ass. I had to grab, I had to grab that fat ass. People, people shy away from realness. This man didn't do nothing. He, hey, listen, if y'all didn't want the man in the White House, y'all should have voted minute. the other way. Tell you right now, you remember this conversation. Shit is not going to end well for this kid. A, a first-year psych student could tell you he has fucking got all kinds of mental issues anytime something's announced. They could say Triple G just had a son. You know, Mayweather would fucking tweet out, oh, I just adopted a tiger. He's just an idiot. Anytime a big fight's announced, he has to announce something. Listen, I have a friend who works at security out there at the fucking hotel, the MGM, where they used to lick his balls. I heard when he showed up and they saw they took the Mayweather shit down and you walk into the door for years, it was all TMT, right? When he walked in, they said he threw such a fucking fit. This was just like a year and a half ago. Like, was smashing shit. Like, went insane. Daddy. Would you let your kids, you know, get involved in a sport where uh, there is obviously violence and, and, and there are, uh, you know, hits to the head and obviously, you know, could cause, uh, you know, you wouldn't allow uh, your... Did you see my head's reaction? No. Uh -oh. I don't think the baby will be doing boxing. <laughs> you know, uh, I kind of don't think Jeffrey could even handle it. <laughs> it's kind of like, no, your father did that, but you could do something like tennis. Want any of them to be fighters too? Uh, no, my kids are not gonna be fighters. Uh, all three of my children got Rolls Royces. Wow. Oh, 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 well, all the way. Let me. Right. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Right, right. I have four children. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah, oh, daddy. One point. <laughs> I'm difficult to fight. I'm every fighter's dream. Even though he's a three million dollar fighter and I'm an eight hundred million dollar fighter. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I said I'm Mayweather? Why you don't like Mayweather? No? How come? Okay, I'll be Manny Pacquiao because Mayweather sucks, huh? Yeah? Okay, then no more Mayweather. Only Manny Pacquiao, deal? Okay, no more crying. Tough. Manny Pacquiao. If the Robinson was fighting, Mayweather would be a six round fight. Pretty boy? Yeah, he's pretty talented in his day. 
Go ahead, brother. <laughs> you said it. Uh, it, it, is, it, is it is day. <laughs> I mean, the second half of his career, he kind of like, it, it was all just excessive holding a lot in the second half of his career. He kind of lost, like, he kind of lost a lot of quickness. How old are you? 22 years old. How you know so much? Uh, I just studied boxing. I, like, I fought a little bit, too. Fought a little bit, too. is for the commission to give its consent to the appointment of Emmanuel D. Pacquiao to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army Reserve. Senator Manny Pacquiao arrives in Marawi City amid ongoing clashes in the area. They had uh, some problems in the southern region. And yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit going on over there, man. He's in, he's in the southern region supporting the troops and trying to get rid of the problem. In a speech before the troops, Pacquiao said he is all out in supporting the women and men at the front lines in the clashes here in Marawi and fight alongside the honorable troops. He also said the men and women in uniform are the real heroes of the country and not him. He was with his staff. He was uh, greeted in the room talking with the generals and some of the colonels having a security briefing with the senator. The soldiers said Pacquiao's visit made them happy and definitely boosted their morale. <laughs> He's probably the, the biggest global figure in the sport of yes, this he last is. generation. Mayweather was the, the top guy in America. In, in the Pacquiao. U.S., yeah. Boxing legend Manny Pacquiao is shilling a new ICO. Gico X welcomes our first celebrity to list on our crypto exchange. International boxing superstar, Manny Pacquiao. Any money from this fight go to building homes for people in the Philippines? Absolutely. Even the previous fight, I built a house give free step by step little by little little by little Help him i cannot give him all uh, a house because it's my own money yeah, hello <laughs> hello <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> We established to um, build a, a gym here, Mani Pacquiao Gym, with uh, my friends uh, to, to help the, um, and also I can share my, my knowledge about boxing. <laughs> Oh, 
자, 1라운드 2분 경기. 어, 위치 좋아. 어, 어. 자, 여기서 또 왼손 카운터. 아, 이게 왠지. I love basketball. I play basketball uh, three to four hours. A day? Really? Sometimes every day. And tell me, what's your strong suit in basketball? <laughs> what do you do well? <laughs> basketball. Yes. Yes, hello, everyone. Hi. We're playing basketball here in my house. Happy New Year to all. Who would you say was your toughest opponent of all time? One of them that really made you have to work. And we all know God only made one thing perfect, and that's my boxing record. Uh, who you think is the best pound for pound fighter right now? Including me. Including yourself. <laughs> Come on, cool. of course. <laughs> Triple G, Lamachenko, yes, Lamachenko. Next time you fight him, Pacquiao, fight him someplace other than Australia. Yeah, like Bangkok or some shit. Potentially fighting in Malaysia in June against Matisse. Show me the money. I mean, if the Malaysians put up the money, sure the fight will happen there. that Manny Pacquiao, obviously, he's sort of slipped, but you think that he still should be boxing right now? Or At this point, I think Manny still has it. He's still capable of uh, giving us a good show against Lucas. Everyone who came here uh, today, uh, visitors from uh, other countries. champion do you feel like you're the favorite going into the fight sí seguramente seguramente soy el campeón pero bueno tengo que defender sé que soy un visitante aquí pero pero nada vengo a defender mi título a llevármelo para mi casa nuevamente you're both known for huge knockouts and winning a lot of knockouts does this fight finish with a knockout sí sí seguro seguramente va a ser una gran pelea y seguramente va a terminar ante los dos Manny I have one question for you really quick when someone asks you a challenge and say your time is up, how does that make you feel? Um, it's, uh, it's challenging to me. Uh, that's, that's, and um, it gives me more uh, uh, inspiration or determination to focus and work hard in training. So it doesn't get you angry? No.
what do you want to be remembered for most at the end of your career? Not only for a, a champion in boxing, but uh, as a good person. That's it.